In this video, we're going to draw the Lewis structure of NH3 ammonia. I like to first draw the electron dot structures of the atoms in the molecule. And so the first one we're going to do is nitrogen. Nitrogen is a group 15 element, so it's going to have five valence electrons. So let's draw those electrons. Remember, they do not pair until at least the fifth electron. So as we look at this electron dot notation, we have one, two, three locations where we have unpaired valence electrons and unpaired valence electrons are going to form a bond. So nitrogen is going to need three bonds. Next is hydrogen. Hydrogen is a group one element and it has one valence electron. And so it has one unpaired electron, so it's going to make one bond. And so next, we're going to look at the structure all together. And for NH3, we need to determine which one is the central atom. A quick rule is hydrogen is always on the outside. And so that means our nitrogen is going to be our central atom here. And so I'm going to draw the electron dot notation of our nitrogen. And we see we have three places where we're going to need a bond. And we also have three hydrogens which each are going to make a single bond so we're going to place our hydrogens in those locations and we are going to bond with our nitrogen so this is electron dot structure of ammonia but we need the Lewis structure so we're simply going to rewrite it again anytime we have a bond we are going to um, put a line instead of the two electrons here. Whenever we draw our nitrogen, we're going to have two lone pair electrons that are not participating in the bond. We got to show those for Lewis structures. So I'm going to put our hydrogens in their location. And now we have the Lewis structure of NH3. Let's double check to make sure everything's okay. So nitrogen is going to be following the octet rule. It's going to need eight electrons total. Each bond counts for two, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in the bonds, and then seven, eight from the lone pair electrons that are not participating in the bond. So nitrogen has its eight valence electrons, and hydrogen, um, each one has a single bond, which each counts for two, so hydrogen is satisfied with the two electrons. Guys, if you uh, found any value in this video would you consider like commenting or subscribing if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below or if there is a lesson that you would like to see in the future uh, please let me down there let me know down there until next time guys have a nice day and keep on learning